Welcome back. Happy Wednesday morning. Once again, here's another look right here in Greenville at Highway 82 West and Raceway Road. So again, looking pretty nice outside, few clouds in the sky. So again, just a great weather day. It's going to be warm once again. And now let's go ahead and get into the forecast. So this picture was sent to me by Millie White Coleman. This was yesterday evening in Indianola. So beautiful picture. Thank you again, Millie, for that. And then this was taken this morning in Wayside. This picture was sent in by Robert Vest. And again, thank you, Robert, for this beautiful picture. So now again to the forecast. So today, partly cloudy, although we saw a few clouds in the skies out there. So again, just going to be looking pretty nice for today. Slight chance for showers and thunderstorms. And then we'll have a light breeze blowing for today as well. Now here's a look at your current temperatures around the southeast. It is now 60 in Nashville, 62 in Memphis, 72 in Montgomery, 78 in Houston, and 72 in Natchez. Now right here in the Delta, is still at 70 in Greenville, 73 in Greenwood, 64 in Batesville, and also up in Clarksdale. Now winds are have picked up once again in Clarksdale. They're now blowing at 10 miles per hour, 10 in Pine Bluff, 9 in Greenville, 7 in Monticello, and 6 in El Dorado, Arkansas. So we'll be in the mid to upper 80s once again today for the high. Winds will be from the northeast this morning, then becoming south southerly winds later this afternoon. The overnight low will be close to 70. Then we'll have more clouds starting to move in once again overnight to make way for mostly cloudy skies. Winds will be from the south southeast, then becoming easterly, northeasterly later tonight and during the overnight hours. Now for tomorrow, it's going to be another warm day, mostly cloudy skies. Rain chances are lower during the daytime, but they increase into the evening hours. And we could possibly have severe weather for tomorrow night. Now looking at the severe weather threat for Thursday, and again, the main timing is for tomorrow evening into the nighttime hours. Most of the delta will be under a slight risk for severe weather for tomorrow. Then the eastern edge will be under a marginal risk, and that looks like Atala County, eastern edge of Yazoo County and Holmes, and also so the eastern part of Montgomery County will be under that marginal risk for severe weather. So make sure you have a way to receive weather alerts and we're going to be keeping you updated on social media and of course with our broadcast. Now looking at the future tracker, this warm front is situated over us, but it's going to lift northward later today. Now, before it moves completely out of our region, some showers could develop ahead of the front in the northern part of the Delta and North Mississippi. And again, it's just going to move out of the way. Then we'll have some more clouds moving in behind it. Then by the time we get to late tomorrow afternoon into the evening and nighttime hours, we'll have some showers moving in, some thunderstorms. And again, some could be severe, especially with us being under that slight risk for severe weather. And then that cold front should make its way through late tomorrow night into the overnight hours into Friday morning. Now Friday morning should start off mostly dry. Some clouds in the sky will be just a tad bit cooler, but really not by much. The temperature will only drop by just a couple of degrees for the daytime high, but overall still going to be warm for the remainder of this week and into next week. Now here's a look at your temperature outlook for the next six to 10 days. So again, hot weather is on the way. Of course, summer starts next month, but it's going to be feeling like summer this week. And as we get into the early part of next week, so now just to recap with the seven day forecast, rain chances are low for today and Friday. They're lower during the day tomorrow, then increased by tomorrow evening. And then again, Mother's Day weekend, still looking pretty nice, like it'll just be hot, dry, and just great weather to be outdoors honoring Mother's Day. And then by the time we get to Monday and Tuesday, we'll still have mostly sunny conditions and highs could be in the low 90s. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful Wednesday.